Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my F1 2018 career mode. Positively glad here. And we are here today at the Death Trap. We are here at Monaco. So expect a very short stream, me qualifying last, driving around last, and blowing up. Um, for those of you who are new to the series, guys, this is round six. I've had a very, very, well, successful career mode. I'm doing Ultimate AI, of course, in the Williams. As the title suggests, please be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you are entertained by what you see. Especially tonight, because you're going to be entertained very long, but it's going to be very entertaining. <laughs> As well, guys, please be sure to drop me a follow on Twitch if you're watching on the YouTube side of things. And here, for the goddamn death of me, here we go. Right, let's just go and edit this little stream, yo. Here we go. Buzzing. Baby is in bed asleep, of course. That's why, once again, you'll hear me be very, very quiet um, tonight. Um, so here we go, then. Monaco. Last night we had... Um, uh, did a Life is Strange stream, which was very, very... Um, well, it, it led up to the billing, it must be said. Um, so what we're going to do, let's uh, lower the volume on that so I don't have to hear my fucking voice rage as I plough into loads of walls. Um, managed to survive, um, practice two, and was only four tenths off everyone else, which is the closest I've been this whole, well, session. <laughs> but we need 640 points, we're going to be going for ICE and also the MGUH. I don't really care about my components. It is what it is. If I survive, I survive. If I don't, I don't. On someone I got qualifying. Let's go. We're just going to literally burn off our load of the ultra hyper soft tyres because I'm not going to be on them in the race. We're just going to run ultras to supers and <clears throat> basically hopefully survive. Um, I generally this time don't mind trundling out the back. Um, we may pick up track position later in the Grand Prix. But on to Monaco, the pre-qualifying report from Anthony Davidson and Here we are at one of the most difficult Crofty. circuits on the racing car. Oh, that looks like it's wet. Welcome to Monaco. Oh, no. Today's Formula One qualifying. Oh, please, no. And I'm here, of course, with Anthony Davidson on what has turned out to be a very pleasant day. <laughs> so I just want, I'll, I'll sit there all weekend. It's fine. No problems on the track. Jensen Button needs to drive. No <laughs> he hasn't driven a Williams for a while. That's right, Crofty. It's looking good yeah, out there at the moment. Each team will have their own game plan for this session. Of course, once the cars leave the garage, they'll be yeah, in the conditions. So any last minute adjustments need to be done right this here. This is now. going to be Beyond fucking that, hell on earth. To the driver, who can keep their tires hell the right on fucking who earth. Can hit their apexes. No race I have beer as well, but I'm not touching any because I know the stream is going to be very long anyway. Had in a long, long time, and it's right here in qualifying where they're at their absolute peak. Let's get started. Well, they are. <laughs> you will see how bad I am around here, guys. Anyway. Uh, enough about me put myself down. Uh, Jeff thinks we can have an outside chance of getting through. Jeff, of course, is the same guy who told me to stay out with the damage wing in practice. Uh, <laughs> We're ready. So we'll go out. We'll attempt this. I'm, I'm not exactly going to not push. I'm going to go for it. Hopefully 19th position. He's calling me. Um, we're going to lose a load of rep. We already have done this weekend because we've blown up once. But here we go. It's best if you come out behind me or, or in front of me. That's just not good for anyone, is it? <laughs> we know we're going to beat one of them because it's not going to be able to take me. Okay. We're here this weekend in RF1, of course, guys. In our round six. Hopefully, I'll be racing one of the three races. Probably not going to race the CSR because my old man's down this weekend, so. Pretty well at this early stage, but of course there's a long way to go. I might just let Madison go in the tunnel. He's behind me. No one else is behind me for a while, so I think, yeah, we'll do that. That's the best decision I've made in a while. A bit of a gap, even though there's going to be a gap over there anyway. I'm not on the pace of these guys. I wasn't on the pace at 100 AI with a souped up, with a souped up Williams. I'm not going to be on the pace here with only two upgrades to the car. Let's see how we do. Corner that I hate. Entrance to Raskas. And we haven't got any cars in front of us. Right, okay. Esky and I need Sauber. See if I can do this. Right.
in a Williams, remember, I've still hit 13 in a Williams, which I think is not that bad. There's an Ultras as well, this is the first time I've used Hyper, second time I've used Hypers technically. Four views already, guys. Everybody tunes into Monaco, as we know, to watch you blow up. This might be one of my highest views video, viewed videos on Twitch for a while. So hopefully I can show off some kind of ability. Doubt it, though. This isn't the worst lap, actually, you know. I ain't getting near that. I'll get to somewhere near it. Not far off. If I can beat Lance here, I will be stunned. Remarkably, I'm on my second lap without dying, so, or third lap, without dying, so, oh, 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 hello, uh, let's get back to the pits, alright, next one, yep, uh, that didn't last very long, right, okay. It's for lack of confidence, but by God, this truck is hard. Okay, I'm gonna control. The batteries are going as well. Fuck's sake. Get to the pits, change our batteries, and then get going again. That is hard. That is fucking hard. Jesus. Shout out for those of you who are sticking around for this one. This isn't gonna be a very long stream, so you may as well get yourself in satisfied. Ironically, is watching. Thank you very much for watching. Satisfied. If you like what you see, please be sure to drop a follow. Um, we're going to be getting onto the good tracks, <laughs> the better tracks for me, should I say, very soon. Canadian Grand Prix coming up, one of high hopes. Um, I'm not upgrading the car for at least a season. I'm getting all the durability, and then the quality control components. We just want to get them all done, all nailed, all done and dusted, and then we'll obviously look into other bits and bobs as so we go on. Fastest lap is a so. See, that's a that's a respectable lap, and we're nowhere. We are nowhere at the moment. It's that first sector. First and last sector. If I improve them, I have an outside shot of getting higher than 20th. But right now, there is so many cars on the track, it's almost going to be pointless. Oh, but why not? Fuck it. Everyone clear. Car to track. I fully expect to die in this Grand Prix, by the way. Um, <laughs> we're not touching the Ultras. I think if worse comes to worse, we'll just simply drive around let cars up front go. Um, I don't mind literally just tailing around the back. Put it for a whole season before, so it shouldn't be too hard. And of course, we have a Ferrari coming in hot. And a Salva, why not? Two Ferraris, we should let the Salva go. Here we go. So let's see what we potentially can do. I don't know if it's going to be any good. Of course, we're still waiting. Like, my car has no tyre grip either, so... Shocked myself, get myself in a Q3 once before. Unfortunately, then I died, so that didn't really go too well. There was a possibility that I could do something, but... In the race, it's just going to be a case of holding on. I was third in the Grand Prix. Ironically, my greatest rival, Charles Leclerc, punting me off. He thought two seasons later, me and him will be battling for the championship, eh? Mm. What, how he traversed the corners? Let's see if I can get a better time than what I did before. That's not the way to go about it. I 
absolutely on the edge. Three attempts to need to make up. Made one of them up. Lost all that time I made up, of course, for those here. Do we struggle around here? Not remotely quick in the slightest, but... Lots of them go to fuck. We are borderline our own time. I don't think I'll be able to improve, but the only place we're going to improve is around here. Watched it. We could have done it. Right, I saw point three flash up. Better. We're surviving. To be honest, it was slightly annoying because I expected to die and go on to the last. The oh, Jesus. Just as you say that, it's slamming to the left side of the wall. 20th position, two races in a row, start at the back. One of them at a legitimate, one not. And really? Shit, because the yellow flag, forgot about that. Oh, there you go, I've changed it in practice. Oh, the best thing about going in the tunnel, Jeff shuts up. Maybe I'll just hide out in here for the race. Caught you then. <laughs> Okay now, so close to the wall. Oh good god, oh good god, oh good god. We we'll survive. Box now. Lewis, this is not the time and place to try and come at me, bro. Good lord. <laughs> that didn't go well. Improve lap time again. There is a chance we can beat Lance here. A big chance I can beat Stroll. As long as I get back in the garage quick. And get out in front of the train and the masses. <coughs> Sorry guys, forgive me. Cough caught me off guard actually. Um, Oh my god, really? Car repairs have set us back a little. Do you know what? If we could just, just get that time, if we can not lose control going into the back, and just after the swimming pool section going in towards Raskas, I believe so far is a one minute that I have a chance to... Zero. Got a chance at it. When you're let's ready, go for it. Let's go. We do have a chance to go through in 19th position. Well, to get knocked out in 19th. We're never going to get through based on how far apart we and the rest of the field are. But I feel comf comfortable and confident that I'm actually staying with him. Oh, Lance, please say he's not on a lap, for fuck's sake. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he be? <laughs> Still going. Watted me out there. Brave people watching this. Waiting for me to blow up. I have already lost my wing once and lost one wheel in practice. If it doesn't happen again, we're going to lose a lot of reputation this week and we're going to have to literally rely on Canada to bring it all back. Luckily we can afford the one-stop strategies and make them pull off all the time. Oh, God, it's Britain going to have to go in the blue wall, which is a stinker, but we'll give it a go. There's them blue flashes. I don't know if you guys actually see them or not, but it's really, really ag agitating to say.
Let's see what we can do. Immediately two, a tenth of a second up already. Our last time lap this is going to be... Absolutely dreading this weekend. I'm not really. I, I know everyone's just thinking, oh, fuck, it's Monaco. I'm just thinking, God, did you get me to do 39 laps and get me to get out of here? The longest times I've ever spent doing qualifying before. Been out on track, at least. Yeah, up by quite a bit. But nothing at the moment. Oh my god, seven temps up! Oh my god! Where the fuck has that come from? No way. No fucking way are we doing this. No way! 58th! 11-3! An 11-3. What a lap that there was. Will we still be there at the end of qualifying? Stroll is not going to improve most likely. He's out on track though. I lied. Batteries are dying. Shit. I'm going to just cruise around now. No one... Oh, there's some behind me. Right, let's go very slowly. the Toros and my teammate. I don't know who the other guy is. Give me a second, guys. Change batteries. I believe I'm back, and if I'm not, then I'm not. 15th place in Monaco at the moment. Yep, just saying myself on my own stream. So this is going to be incredible. It still says 15th. If I get knocked out, not a problem, straight to the race. If I don't, then oh fuck. <laughs> We have upset the odds here, and it still says P15. Our best lap so far is a Hartley and Stroll are done, beating them both. Three. Bandon got me, damn it! But what a qualifying by me! 111.3, two seconds quicker than anything else I've done barring qualifying. Unbelievable. So, so close. I could be buzzing ahead of it, my qualified target. And I've beaten the stroll of the rivalry. <laughs> Have it. And it's a clean session. Unfortunately, the next one isn't going to be a clean session. We, everybody knows that. But 15th place, so close to getting Q2, I've never actually went in the Q2 yet, not driven it anyway. We'll obviously see what we do. It's an uphill task to um, beat Lance Stroll in a rivalry anyway, oh sorry, Leclerc in a rivalry. Stroll, we just destroyed him. Fucking hell! 
Oh my god, straight up. Let's get the uh, next ICE upgrade. Well done. That was a good yeah, fucking right, well done. Come from nowhere, that. Um, obviously, we're not going to be upgrading for a while. Um, we've got a lot of... Uh, what do you call it to do? Uh, yellow. <laughs> Durability, sorry, I lost my fucking marble then. Uh, so we're going to go for that one. Now, I'm not even going to look at the comments. Like I said, it's just going to be a case of going around, doing my laps, guys. Give me one, two seconds. I'll be back with you for the Monaco Grand Prix. Quick sig. And I'll be going. Back in two. So from that remarkable qualifying session, what can we do from P16? Let's see. Will it be P16? That's another point. Onwards and upwards we go. Cola being sweet. Beers after the race, of course. Go then. Crofty and Andy Davidson. Hit us up. A proper road race and in the oh, true meaning daunting. of the word. That was how Mr. Monaco, the late great Graham Hill, once described this iconic event. The cars we drive have come a long way in the intervening half century, but still we race on those same public roads beside the Mediterranean Sea. There's no victory more coveted than that of the Monaco Grand Prix. We're on the French Riviera once more this weekend at the two mile long circuit to Monaco. The cars oh climb God. around 40 meters up through Beau Rivage, onto the casino, and then descending down towards the harbor through sector two. 
It's a very short run from pole position to the first of the 19 corners here. Seven to the left and 11 to the right. There's one single DRS zone as well, so don't expect that to make overtaking any easier today. <laughs> Fucking hell. With Thanks. me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Force India. What do you make of their performance so far this Red season? Third. Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive wow. at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed the to the outside, which is a problem. Team. My starts are dreadful, which is worse. But we are literally going at it from a one stop perspective. Well, then, after an exciting qualifying session, I survived this. Let's take a look at how the cars line well, up. Last time on my Kimi fucking Raikkonen's cricket game, anyway. Perfect lap yesterday. Again. Sees him start from pole position. I and beat Lewis that. Hamilton Fuck off. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Vettel, know. Max Verstappen, and Bottas, Magnussen. Sainz, Hulkenberg, and Roman Grosjean, Leclerc, Perez, Good luck Fernando by Leclerc. Alonso, and Ocon, Van Dorn, Wang, Pierre Gasly, Wang. <laughs> and Marcus Ericsson, Hartley, and Lance. We beat Stroll in every qualifying session this year. And now, it's time to head down to the track. We are currently, I think it's four and one in the race. No heroics into Sandoval, please. <laughs> We're in amongst the pack and just need to stay in one piece. Fuck it. <laughs> Make a difference about your fuel. Both Toros as well. Right, let's get the car up to temperature on this lap. We're learning the gears, so go through them all if you can. Fresh controller batteries, got enough battery now till probably the end of the weekend, I'm assuming. This is going to be torturous. I was going to get squalified if I was going to. Um, position back, you prick. The Force India stopped dead. Cars just Radar dead everywhere. <laughs> Why is this five <laughs> confusing as fuck? Positions have changed everywhere. It's India nowhere around Monaco, you'd expect that. Ferrari's gonna walk away with it. Just one of them is. Oh god, it broke nearly into the wall. Savage fucking corner. Unbelievable this. 16th we are. Staring into the back. Oh, Esteban O'Connor on the facing left, that is never a good sign. O'Connor, as you see, Gasly got held up on the formation lap two. Ghosted. This is going to be mental. Go. That's not where we go in Monaco, and that's a just literally stick behind no cars. Oh, I've been hit, I've been hit, I've been hit by someone. Someone's piled me. Toro Rosso again. Oh my. We're seeing major wing damage. Box, box. Understood. Stopping this lap. Lance Stroll. Brendan Hartley have both annihilated me. Okay, box, box, box. We're adjusting the strategy. Come in this lap. That is the most retarded start. Not by me. I did nothing wrong. Stroll's gone. Hartley's gone. Let's just go get in and drive our own race now. We are dead last, of course. One of the cars, I think Ericsson in front of me lost his wing as well. He completely speared me into the corner. Stroll had a run at me and then, oh god. 
Running, running, running off of here as well. Oh, God, no. Such a shame. <laughs> that is what it is, I guess. But, oh, my God. Lewis Hamilton had problems at the start. Wow. Carnage up front. Go, go, go. Oh, we got held up a little bit there. This is just literally us now driving around all alone. Hamilton fucked completely now. His race is done. Only one stop to go. One Ferrari, stop left I, I said Ferrari and Red Bull are going to run away with this one. So I'm going to stick up with each man's troubles. Guys who haven't scored yet are already in the points. Leclerc, one of them. Quite annoying it is, it wasn't even my fault. For a change. No, Monaco. Usually I cause murders, but not this, not in this scenario. I literally was a passenger. I'm running up the hill towards Casino Square. Anything I guess can happen. Yeah, shut up. It's my race now. No business. Save the engine, save the ERS. By doing that, I could just drive in the wall, but no point now. My teammate did that for me. It's Hamilton, the full guy. Still not completed the lap yet, so we're not completely out of the running. But 30 seconds behind the Sauber of Ericsson. Dropped out. He speared me. Hey, he knows how's it going. If you haven't followed already, buddy, please be sure to do so. Um, and I'm still going on lap three. I'm not sure if you saw that start, but Lance Stroll literally obliterated me, which didn't really feel too nice to be honest with you. Not a thing I could do about that. Half a lap down on anybody, but we're going to keep going. I want to see how far I can go into the Grand Prix. See if I can make the one stop work as well. Obviously, I've picked them once already, but you know what I mean. Not just a super, because we've got a league race coming up on Friday. So, I'm not going to have Saturday for the make it, obviously. Lewis Hamilton to overtake the cars in front because he's not a reference point for me, but we're actually keeping pace with Hamilton, which is really bizarre. 11.1 start of, at the end of lap two. It's set to three or I lose on my phone. I believe I had warnings for that, which is completely and utterly bizarre. But I don't want to get laps Grand Prix has now begun. We're a plus one lap of extra fuel, fuel target. Yep, plus I know. One. Let's put myself in rich mix around Monaco. That makes complete sense when I'm all by myself at the back. We need a race mechanic to adapt to situations. Get the same old docile tones all the way through. Ties are already red hot. Ironically, one finishing position away from my target, which is... I suppose Hamilton hasn't just retired the car yet. So. Yeah, get on with it, save your car, save your tyres. My tyres just don't heat too much. So. Push, push, ERS to overtake. This race is going to end very shortly. Overheat tyres. I 
this is not going to be the setup I run for the league race at all. This feels like I got wing damage. I'm moaning because I'm still going. I thought I'd be dead by now. One of the longest Monaco Grand Prix I've ever done. There's Monaco streams over there. teammate, which is crazy. I wonder who my next rival is going to be after the player, though. Basically doing a Sega Sorokin and Lance Stroll in real life. I don't know, back by myself. Got a fucking spider monkey or a fucking hippo in the car, and they probably do as well as them two have done this year. has pitted too though, so that's interesting. That's an, uh, three cars are pitted. Um, I know the... Oh god, child clothes in fifth. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah, all the cars are pitted actually, saying that. So point of reference is a lot different from what it was. That's another warning. Fuck a clean race in Spain, so I'm saying. Tires to go on to fuck off. Okay, take it easy on the car. We can't sustain this level of damage. Fuck. Oh. Copy. Oh, I'm really struggling. Oh. Little lap down here. Them out of form, out of luck. Life is strange stream coming up in a minute, guys, unfortunately. It's a bit unfortunate, but. Want to warn Ultras. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, this could be a warning. Yep, penalty as well. Oh, just getting worse and worse. Ah, uh, that just, Are you yeah. Okay? That was a big one. Come a shame. Okay, please. It was going well, but... Tires just never heated too quickly, unfortunately. Uh, we don't do flashbacks. Don't even know why they're on. Crackly mic. It's higher. And a shame. Really, real, real shame. Really, really jeopardised. Going into turn one. Nothing else I could do. And yeah, that's it. No disappointment, really, because I didn't expect much more. My teammate retired before me, so I beat him. <laughs> so, it's always a plus point. But. So, here they come now, out onto the podium. Wherever you go... Ferrari again. Hamilton, I believe, will be fifth or sixth. You expect... And now let's take a look at the yep. driver's standings. And no a new scorers. That's good. Alonso does ever take me though. Extends his advantage at the top of the championship. Reckon it again. Moving on to the driver of the day then. Anthony Fuck, Davidson. He's dropped Who 20 points. For? Fernando Alonso. Yep. Wherever he is, whatever team he's in, when is he not just brilliant? He'll give you a performance every time, just like he's done today. Onto the constructors then. Ferrari right now. extend their lead at the top of the championship. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today. Yep, they overtake Will us, I believe. Way up the standings. After all that excitement, yep. it's time for a lie down, I think. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> what excitement. It's boring as fuck. Race. Well, guys, that was not what I anticipated it to be. But we beat Stroll, obviously. So. That's out of the way. Well, 
Things didn't really go your way today. Tell us what happened. That crash looked pretty serious. Can you walk me through what happened? Hey. It wasn't the cleanest race today. Shut up. Well, <laughs> thanks anyway. Hopefully we get a... That was a really shit stream. That was really bad. But, um, yeah, onwards and upwards, I guess. But we did beat Lance, of course, so... Need to try and catch Leclerc up now. <laughs> oh dear. I got my team goal bonus as well. So another piece of durability. Which we do lose a little bit of rep, well a lot of rep with everyone else, a little bit of Toro. Well, let's hope for a better race next time out, eh? You hit your last team goal. Well done. <laughs> well done. That should get the team a nice boost. Oh, for fuck's sake. And it won't hurt when it comes to your next contract for you either. How does that increase by me saying, oh, it's tough as old boots? Broken biscuits is what that is. Broken biscuits. Uh, while we're here, um, I'm going to hit, uh, just get the, all the gearbox upgrades up to full. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, that's quite annoying, but ladies and gentlemen, that is positively glad. The only reason why I'm ending it now is because they automatically go on. Canadian Grand Prix coming up very, very soon. Much love. Goodbye for now.